Now, what happens is, as we go through these methods, they do require um, more understanding of what is going on. So you might find this method of doing it, it's like, mm, I'm a bit confused. Um, they are a bit harder to understand, but they are, once you understand them, I think superior methods to this. They are even a bit quicker, and they will also serve you very well when we're doing more than just this. This is a bit of a problem. I said it's the most common thing, but it's not the only one. So here's the first thing you're gonna do. Um, draw a unit circle. Can you do that for me? Draw a unit circle. So, you've drawn your unit circle. You've drawn your unit circle. <laughs> now the question says, sine theta equals plus a half. Okay. Now the hardest thing to remember is, we redefined sine, cos, and tan. We said, you know what, forget about those right angle triangles, forget about that opposite hypotenuse adjacent stuff. Sine, cos, and tan just refer to, it's specifically sine and cos, they refer to something about the coordinates on the circumference of the unit circle. One of the coordinates is cos theta and one is sine theta. Do you remember which one is which? Well, mm. Eric, what do you think? Um, cos theta is like the one along the x-axis. Yes, cos theta is the x-coordinate and that makes sine theta the y-coordinate. Welcome. Do you want to go around for me? Is that okay? okay cool. Now, one of the easiest ways for you to remember that is that x and y are alphabetical. Conveniently, cos and sine are also alphabetical. Okay, so you might find that a nice, easy um, memory device for you to use. Okay? Now, therefore, think about this. Put your pens down and engage your mind. When you see sine theta equals a half, sine theta is talking about the y coordinate. See that? The y coordinate. Okay? So what you're really solving when you see sine theta equals a half is y equals a half, <coughs> right? Because that's what sine theta is about. I'm not worrying about opposite and hypotenuse anymore. I'm thinking about where up and down I am on the unit circle because that's about where I am up and down on the Cartesian plane. Does that make sense? So here's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take y equals a half and I'm just going to draw it on the unit circle. Okay? Now pick up your pen again. Remember this being the unit circle, this top point here is what? It's one, okay? So therefore, y equals a half should be halfway up to get to there, somewhere like that. So get your ruler out, and on top of your unit circle, just draw the line y equals a half. Okay. Now, what I'm searching for is, what this means is, where does y equals a half intersect with the unit circle? Okay, And you can see it plain as day. There are two spots. Do you see that? Two spots on the unit circle. <coughs> here and here. Do you agree? Those two spots are my solutions. Okay. So all I have to do is try and think about what angle rotating around the unit circle will get me to those two spots. Okay, so here's the first one. Theta, right? Now have a look. This is this is the genius of this, right? The y coordinate is a half. Right? That's that distance there. Yes. So if you're thinking now in that right angle triangle, this one I've just drawn here. Okay, this is a half. So in this triangle, a half on one is sine. Sine theta equals just a half, right? Now that's an exact value, you know this. And if you're not sure, your calculator can confirm it for you. In this little triangle here, do you agree? It's just like this triangle. You remember that triangle? Except that everything is just half the size. This is a half, and what's that radius again? It's the unit circle, so the radius is one. It's the same triangle, I've just shrunk it on scale. Okay? So therefore, being that I've shrunk it on scale, that corner angle is still going to be 30 degrees. Okay? So there's my first solution. I just read it off right there, 30. Okay? The next thing I do is I say, wait, there's a second solution on the other side of the unit circle, over there. Now, here's the brilliant part of that. Remember over here, 
we had to remember this arbitrary thing. We had to say, oh, um, A and S, they're positive because sine is positive. So therefore, you get an acute angle and you get an obtuse angle. Okay? But over here, the unit circle just does the work for you. Look at this. This is the angle to get to that point over there, the point that was the point of intersection. Right? So now all I have to do is find out what that angle was. But look, it's, it's symmetrical, right? Because it's a circle. So if this is 30, then what's this? Also 30. Okay. So therefore, that <coughs> supplement angle has to be 150. It's just the difference. That's all it is. And that's why this is what it is. That's why it's not 90 plus theta. It's 180 minus the same angle because it's symmetrical. That's what the unit circle is. So therefore, on the basis of this, I say there's 30, there's 30. So my two solutions are theta equals 30 degrees or 150 degrees. Okay. So what do I like about this? What I like about this is it homes in on the fact that we have redefined what these trigonometric functions are. They're not about right angled triangles merely, they are about where you are on the unit circle. You must wrap your head around this. Are you guys right? Yeah. yeah? You might find it really helpful to draw and write some of this. That'll be useful. <laughs> In addition, what it does is it really confirms for you this thing, which believe me, is going to be so important later on, especially when we look at a topic called parametrics, right? This is not going away. So you might as well learn to understand what's going on here and just use it to help you solve all this stuff, right? You don't think about any ASTC business. You don't have to worry about, oh, am I positive, am I negative? The unit circle just kind of does the work for you, okay? So that was method two. And I think you can agree, there's much less working, but you have to think a little bit harder. Um, that thinking develops understanding, which is understanding you need anywhere. 